Yeah. Dude, I can't believe we got Ken Shermark in the studio. We made dude. it happen, bro. I know bro. what we've got planned for him. He's going to love it. Hey, can you believe we got all those hey, guys? Oh, here he is. Whoa, Whoa Mr. Shamrock. Yeah, yeah, what's all good. going on, oh, Of course, man. We're so excited we to have We've got so you many here. things planned for you, man, but you're going to love this, man. we be got... Uh, well, we got some of your friends, man, from the UFC. We pulled some strings, man. We we have some connections, and we got them. Let's start with the first guy. You're gonna love. You never got to fight him. Everybody wanted to see it. I'm talking about Big Tank Abbott, bro. <laughs> Tank Abbott in the building. Yeah, that's right. We're starting off with a bang right there, baby. Tell them what. But that's not us. That, that's not all, man. Uh, this was my idea. Uh, <laughs> we have former King of Pancrase from your past. Okay, El Guapo. Boss Rudin. Check Party it out. Can. Party on. Look at this. Oh, what do you think? baby. Yes. So you're liking it so far. I think oh, yeah, there. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, check it out. You're going to love this one. This is the, the icing on the cake right here. We're talking about the Beast. Dan Seven. You remember the Super Fight, baby. There he is. The Beast right there. He's got the belt. You beat him for your dad. first Super Fight championship. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All you right, all right, happy, right. What is this? Is this like a pretend day? Why? Well, we're having fun. I, yeah. We brought the guys in here, yeah. man. Yeah, I mean, this is legit, brother. Almost. Almost. All right, well, I mean, are you still going to stick around? I mean, <laughs> I'll do the show. Oh. But, hey, listen, first, I got three things to say. All right. Where's your t shirt? Where's your 12 pack? Oh, and two. That's all I got to say. Well, I'll tell you right now. Well, you know, it was really his fault. I mean, what? it was the whole thing. He's been amping this whole thing on this commercial we were doing, and he's saying he's going to have all these UFC. I don't so even do really the commercials, Ken. I don't even do the commercials. These are all like people from his gym. No, shut up. Don't worry. And then shut up. MMA Inside the Cage, brought to you by Advanced Sports Labs. Expedite your blood work today at advancedsportslabs.com. Welcome to MMA Inside the Cage, bringing the whole world of mixed martial arts straight to you. I'm your host, Cyrus Fees, and next to me, the world's most dangerous co-host, Mr. Casey Austin. Well, I don't know about that, Cyrus. Judging by the smell emanating from the bathroom earlier, it might be you that's the world's most dangerous co-host. Brother, I'm sorry about that. Tonight, we're previewing the big fight in Boone, North Carolina at the National Guard Armory. That's U.S. Freedom Fighter presents collateral damage on Saturday, November 19th. But first, let's bring in a very esteemed guest. He is UFC Hall of Famer, former heavyweight champion, Mr. Ken Shamrock. Welcome to the show, Ken. It is an absolute pleasure to have you here Thank on you. MMA Inside the Cage. Well, of course, you're here on behalf of Ruckus in the Cage. You were at the event there in Abingdon, Virginia, the big Ruckus in the Cage card. There was a lot of MMA action there, a lot of fights. Talk about that. Well, when I went down there, uh, first thing I like to do is all, every time I go around the United States and I go to these fights is to, to just to help support the MMA world. Yeah. I was very fortunate early on to be in MMA and, and actually be starting MMA. So now it's, I get an opportunity to go and go around the United States and actually see some of the young talent, give them some pointers, and even some of the promoters when they're actually promoting and, and giving some suggestions on how they can do their shows better. Yeah, no doubt about it. Now, you also made a few pit stops here uh, in the Tri-Cities area. Uh, you Tell us a little bit about uh, your work with children and, uh, you know, and what you're looking to uh, promote. Yeah, um, since my career, uh, I came from a, um, a group home. Um, I was there since the time I was 10 years old till I was 18. Um, I was a troubled youth. I was a ward of the court, and um, I was put in placements over and over again. I failed them um, only because I had a lot of anger. And with that anger, I needed somebody to help me generate it in the right direction. And I went to a place called the Shamrock Boys Home. It was my last stop before I went to California Youth Authority. Um, so when I went there, I felt, you know, I was just going to, I was going to fail again. But a man that became my father, Bob Shamrock, um, actually started showing me how to generate that anger into something positive. And he did it with a lot of other kids, whether it was singing, acting, dancing, whatever it was that brought out that anger into something positive, he would show them that. Me, it was sports. Yeah. So once I captivated that sports, I get on early, and um, now it's my turn. I've, I've done everything I want to do. Now it's my turn to get involved with children. And so usually when I go around and uh, do fights, I like to, to visit different group homes, juvenile halls, even prisons. Um, and, and just kind of because I have that hook in the MMA. 
Yeah. So I get to be able to speak to these kids and I have the, I have that attention because of who I am. And uh, God has blessed me uh, with this personality and with the fame. And now it's my turn to turn around and give it back. We're opening a group home for 100 boys, 100 girls in Gerlach in Nevada. Um, so that's kind of the direction that I'm going now is using that fame that I built over in MMA and use it towards something positive that my father did for me, I'm gonna do for other kids. Powerful stuff. Uh, we're gonna talk more to Ken about what he has coming up. Uh, if we're gonna see him fight again, and we're gonna have Al Simmons and Scott Price, he's gonna join the program. We'll talk all about the big fight, collateral damage on November 19th at the Boone, North Carolina National Guard Armory. But right now, our first fight comes from Ruckus in the Cage. It's a compilation of all the big KOs. It's your MMA Inside the Cage, Punches of the Week. All right. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. What is that? As a professional fighter, there's a lot of things that I need to be concerned about. I need to be concerned about my opponent. I need to worry about my fans. I don't want to have to be concerned about my blood work. That's why I go to Advanced Sports Labs, and I get my blood work done in an affordable manner. They get it done fast. They send it to the commission, they send it to the promoter, and they send it to me, so I have peace of mind knowing that everything's done properly. As a promoter, they've taken away the headache of trying to get the blood work and get the results to the state. Uh, they have streamlined the process, and they do it at a great, affordable rate for the fighter and for the promotion. Expedite your blood work today at advancedsportslabs.com. Are you ready, America? Then let's get it on with Fight Now TV. Your front row seat, seven days a week to experience all the hard-hitting action, news, and entertainment from around the fight world. From world-class boxing events. Here we go, the main event. To mixed martial arts showdowns and other combat sports matchups. Here we go. Fight Now TV delivers the hits and more. Fight Now TV also offers unrivaled access to the fighters and insiders who make the fight game happen around the globe. As we go from the training camps to the weigh-ins, press conferences to the matchups, Fight Now TV is there before and after every bell. Fight Now TV also features original series found only on Fight Now. There you have it. Stop on by. It's time, fight fans. Your channel has arrived. All the fights, all the names, all the action. Call your television provider and tell them you want to get it on with Fight Now TV. MMA Inside the Cage, brought to you by Advanced Sports Lab. Welcome back to MMA Inside the Cage. Round two action, Cyrus Fees, Casey Oxidine, and yes, it is him, Ken Shamrock, right here on the show. I like the sound of that, Ken. You should just drop everything you're doing and just become our host here on the show all the time. Does that sound like something you can make happen, Ken? Listen, I'm not repetitious, so I got I got to get out there. <laughs> hey, really? Thanks. We can we can we can ditch this guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen, let me step out for a minute so you guys can work this out. <laughs> Too many colorful characters. That wouldn't work, Casey. See, now, we're talking all about your career now, and uh, there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of talk, and supposedly it's going to happen. You and James Tony tangling it up. It's supposed to be some special rules. What's going on with that fight? Is it still going to happen? Uh, you know, right now it looks like it'll be um, the last Saturday in January. Um, that's not set. Um, I hope it is because the sooner the better. But when you talk about a fighter like James Tony. And I got to give him some credit. Uh, most people say he was stupid, but he's a fighter. He went into the UFC. He fought. They took his shoes away. This is a guy that boxed his whole career with shoes. Yeah. Now, I know how I felt when I went in the very first UFC. I got the day there to fight, and they took my shoes away and said it was a weapon. And then I go into the ring, and I get choked by a gi. I'm thinking, <laughs> wow, did I just get set up or something? <laughs> so we're putting in a shot clock. 30 seconds, want to put it in the audience so the audience can see it tick down. You shoot on somebody, you take them down, you got 30 seconds to get into a submission. Now, if you have a submission, you're allowed to finish that submission. They won't stand you up in the middle of it. So you get the opportunity to finish it. If you're ground and pounding and you're actually landing effective shots, not the tap tap shots to stay busy, you're allowed to finish that ground and pound. But that 30 seconds comes up and you're not doing either of that, 
you're getting stood up again. You had a team, one of the very first fight teams in mixed martial arts ever, the Lion's Den. And the Lion's Den is still around. And uh, you also have a website. So tell us a little bit about that and what's going on with the Lion's Den. Yeah, the Lion's Den, when I first started it, um, I was over in Japan. And they asked me in Japan if I wanted to try and um, nurture some fighters, send them over to Japan, kind of be the booker for the United States. And, you know, I took that serious. So that's when I actually started developing fighters. One, it also helped me train because here in the United States at that time, you know, back in 80, 90, 90, you either boxed, you did karate, or you wrestled, or you did judo, and you didn't mix them. It just wasn't around. So I had to bring people in from different styles and teach them so that I had guys to train with. And since I've done that, the team grew. You know, we had the first middle, first three middleweight champions. You had Jerry Bolander, Guy Mesger, and Frank Shamrock, the first three middleweights. And of course, I was the first um, super fight heavyweight champion. I don't want to say just heavyweight champion, or you get all kinds of oh, things sure. in there. Yeah, you get some emails. <laughs> yeah. Somebody be it's politics about it. now, right? <laughs> So I'm um, with the Lions, and as it developed, um, I had to have a name. And uh, I was sitting uh, at home one time, and I was watching the Animal Channel. And I remembered seeing the lion and how they said it was king of the jungle. And I said, hey, there's a good one. They'll just make it Lions Den, king of the ring. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Ken, I'll tell you what, man, it's been an absolute honor to have you here on the set on MMA Inside the Cage, and good luck with everything, the future endeavors. Uh, we're going to have more with Ken on our YouTube site. We're going to have an official sit down, a little bit more information, get a little more intimate when we talk here, and uh, you can find that on our Facebook page and YouTube. Thank you very much to Ken Shamrock. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now our next guest put together this great card coming up November 19th in Boone, North Carolina. Collateral damage. He's the man they call Spawn, Mr. Al Simmons. Welcome back to MMA Inside the Cage, my friend. How have you been, man? Really good. Really good. Awesome, man. I know you got something big coming up here. We're talking all about it. Collateral damage. Boone, North Carolina. You put together these fights. I know you're looking forward to this event. Oh, yes. Yes. Freedom Fighter has put on a great event. Um, they pay attention to the details and uh, treat the amateur fighters like pros. Oh, no doubt about it. Nice. So you've got a big card coming up, man. I'm very excited because my guy John Hernholm is slated to possibly be in the main event. But uh, tell us a little bit about what else you got going on with that card. Well, we have Bobby Duvall, which is the number one uh, super heavyweight in North Carolina. We have Varnum Webb, which is uh, the number 145er in North Carolina. And we have a couple of guys from my old team uh, that decided to go to different, uh, different teams and stuff. And uh, it's we're gonna have twelve really strong bouts. Nice. I think it's gonna be sick, man. Now, uh, you have your own team, Mongol Horde. You guys are still going strong. Uh, talk about your team. What's going on with that? And uh, you know, what's up with Mongol Horde, brother? Well, you know, um, I kind of at, at first I, I decided I was gonna retire from training guys because of where I uh, I moved out to a farm area. But um, there's been a lot of need and a lot of uh, want for me to come back and to train some select individuals. Uh, it's really cool because it's more like a, a special forces type of team now. It's yeah. not just I'm, t I'm training everybody or yeah. anybody that comes through the door. I have select people that I'll, I'll bring out to my farm, which is now called the compound. Nice. And it's just they stay with me. They live, eat, and sleep training. And so they can come out and spend three days with me, a day, a night, or they can spend two weeks, a week, a month, whatever it costs. Sure, that's cool, man. And you talk about when you do a seminar, you told me about this, uh, you throw everything out there, but you give them all kinds of techniques to work with. You're not just going to show one or two moves and be done with it for the day. You show them everything in the arsenal, right? Well, yeah, because right? I've been to those seminars, and a lot of these guys, they'll show you one or two little shots, and that's it for the money. Me, I'll give the fighter anything they can absorb within that three hours. If that guy can take everything that I've learned in the last 36 years in that three hours, I will give it to him. Well, I'll tell you what, here's what I want to see right here. I want you to show one of these kung fu moves, but I want you to do it to Casey. Casey, okay. can you be a model for this? Sure. Okay. I want to see, sure. show, show me something that you no, teach in one of these seminars. No, 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 I won't hit you. Uh, but basically what it is, is I, I've seen a lot of times where the guys are doing this and they're kind of pushing their hands out like that, and basically it's just a standing hammer fist, which I come in and I throw the hammer fist right to, this, to the jaw. Well, and that's all it is. Standards. That's all it is. It's just, it's very quick, but a lot of people use the hammer fist just on the ground techniques. And I've been 
blessed enough to have a couple of knockouts myself with the standing hammer fist. And it's, wow. it's, it's about as hard as throwing a baseball, as hard as you possibly can, especially when you step into it. Yeah. You know, so it's really great. It's That's good, cool, it's man. Good shot. Well, uh, you like uh, Mr. Ken Shamrock, our previous guest. You do a lot of work with kids. Talk about that. You're working in your county. You're doing some real cool stuff. Talk about that. Well, um, we've teamed up. Uh, Mongol MMA has teamed up with Chatham County Public Schools, and we do an after-school program at Chatham Central High School. Okay. Uh, we take all the at-risk kids that normally would be rabble-rousing around town, and I put them in a course, and... Uh, we get them shirts and, and hook them up with, they come out and they, they work our crew, they're our cage crew, and um, they get to see the fights and everything, so they're really stoked about that. And I I wear them out after school, basically, so they don't go out and, and get into trouble. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is get a big time USC fighter to give us a sponsor and a scholarship type of thing where you can go from high school as an educational scholarship, but yet go as an MMA fighter. Okay. You know, it's kind of like you would go as a, it would just be a, a donation to a scholarship fund and they would go, but it would be from MMA in high school to MMA in college. And that would be kind of cool to do because I don't sure. think that's happened yet. Right. Yeah. You know, so. It's all about changing the game, Spun. Well, you know, we just try. We yeah, try. No yeah. doubt about it. Well, I'm telling you, man, collateral damage, such a jam-packed show. We don't have time for a second fight tonight, but coming up after the break, we're going to have Scott Price from U.S. Freedom Fighter, a big sponsor and the promoter of collateral damage on November 19th in Boone, North Carolina. This is MMA Inside the Cage. As a professional fighter, there's a lot of things that I need to be concerned about. I need to be concerned about my opponent. I need to worry about my fans. I don't want to have to be concerned about my blood work. That's why I go to Advanced Sports Labs and I get my blood work done in an affordable manner. They get it done fast. They send it to the commission, they send it to the promoter, and they send it to me. So I have peace of mind knowing that everything's done properly. As a promoter, they've taken away the headache of trying to get the blood work and get the results to the state. Uh, they have streamlined the process and they do it at a great affordable rate for the fighter and for the promotion. Expedite your blood work today at AdvancedSportsLabs.com. Are you ready, America? Then let's get it on with Fight Now TV. Your front row seat, seven days a week to experience all the hard-hitting action, news, and entertainment from around the fight world. From world-class boxing events. Here we go, the main event. To mixed martial arts showdowns and other combat sports matchups. Here we go. Fight Now TV delivers the hits and more. Fight Now TV also offers unrivaled access to the fighters and insiders who make the fight game happen around the globe. As we go from the training camps to the weigh-ins, press conferences to the matchups, Fight Now TV is there before and after every bell. Fight Now TV also features original series found only on Fight Now. There you have it. Stop on by. It's time, fight fans. Your channel has arrived. All the fights, all the names, all the action. Call your television provider and tell them you want to get it on with Fight Now TV. MMA Inside the Cage, brought to you by Advanced Sports Lab. Welcome back to MMA Inside the Cage. Third round action, Cyrus Fees, Casey Oxendine. We got Spawn Al Simmons in the studio, and our next guest, Scott Price is his name. He owns and operates US Freedom Fighter and Battle Forge, the main sponsor and promoter behind Collateral Damage, November 19th in Boone, North Carolina at the National Guard Armory. Now, Scott, welcome to MMA Inside the Cage. It's great to have you here on the program. Talk about this awesome event, man. You have to be really excited. We're very excited. We're trying to bring um, amateur level, top level amateur uh, events to small yeah. towns that have not had an opportunity to see live MMA action and see the quality of fights that, that the amateurs can bring. Yeah, no doubt about it. Now, uh, I'm very excited that uh, Collateral Damage is coming to Boone. That actually is my uh, hometown as far as high school. Uh, we'll talk about high school is my alma mater. So I'm excited about that. But you also promote two clothing lines, okay? And a lot of people may not know this. One is Battle Forged and the other one is U.S. Freedom Fighter. Now That's tell right. us about those two products and, uh, and how they differ. U.S. Freedom Fighter was established. We, we reached out and wanted to create a line just for the military folks. I've got a Marine Corps background. We, we wanted something that would, would uh, tie in some of the historical lines of clothing like the one Al has on. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and I actually have the Marine Corps uh, product on myself. Uh, and when you put fighter in the name of a product, in today's world it only has one direction to go and it seems to be MMA. Right. So I get contacted by a lot of veterans and, and, and others, fighters that are involved in the sport that want 
to uh, to represent our brand. Right. So you know you sponsor a lot of uh, fighters right now currently, and uh, what you explained to me earlier is sort of that uh, you know you, you you know U.S. Freedom Fighter is sort of an exclusive line that you sponsor for military fighters that are actually competing in MMA. That's right. Uh, we have a, a, a fan base of, for the clothing that that extends beyond the veterans and that, that type of thing, but. Uh, Battle Forge was created because of the other interest mm -hmm. of people that are involved in the sport and that, that are true competitors in the sport. We want to give them the ability to provide support to them also. Right. Now, Al, uh, you know, you already have an awesome card, man. You put on a lot of fights and you coordinate a lot of fights, matchmake a little bit. How about working here with Scott, working with Scott Price here, U.S. Freedom Fighter, Battle Forge, and, and what he brings to the table on a fight? Second to none, really. The detail, um, you know, I, I, I walked in pretty much blind the first one and just the attention to detail he had with with all the the decor and everything that he does um, you know the the amount of time he puts in the organization of things uh, making sure everything was on point uh, um, we had we had scripts written everything was done as you would do it if you were a professional and did this forever you would never imagine that this was his first fight that he did I couldn't believe it. I was blown away. You certainly have an awesome commentary team, a great ring announcer, and we cannot wait to be in New Boone, North Carolina. I'm sorry. National Guard Armory, collateral damage. This thing is going to be outstanding. Do you guys think the community is ready for this event, first ever event in Boone? I think so. With App State being there, uh, college town they got, I think it's going to be crazy off the chain there. Okay, well, you guys got to get out there. What's the website to hit up real quick, Scott Price? Uh, tickets will, are, are sold at shop.battleforge.com okay. or freedomfighterbrand.com. We have several different ones, and uh, the promotion takes place through Triangle Fight Promotions. Okay, tremendous, man. We can't wait to be out there. Everybody, if you're in the area, get out to beautiful Boone, North Carolina, November 19th for collateral damage at the National Guard Armory. Do not miss this event. We're going to go right now to our main event right here on MMA Inside the Cage. <laughs> Advanced Sports Lab is always a great experience. You go in, you get your blood drawn, they take care of all the paperwork for you, they send your results to the commission and to the promoter so I can just focus on being a professional fighter and getting on the fight. Advanced Sports Labs, expedite your blood work today at advancedsportslabs.com. Are you ready, America? Then let's get it on with Fight Now TV. Your front row seat, seven days a week to experience all the hard hitting action, news and entertainment from around the fight world from world-class boxing events. Here we go, the main event! To mixed martial arts showdowns and other combat sports matchups. Here we go! Fight Now TV delivers the hits and more. Fight Now TV also offers unrivaled access to the fighters and insiders who make the fight game happen around the globe. As we go from the training camps to the weigh-ins, press conferences to the matchups, Fight Now TV is there before and after every bell. Fight Now TV also features original series found only 
on Fight Now. There you have it. Stop on by. It's time, Fight Fan. Your channel has arrived. All the fights, all the names, all the action. Call your television provider and tell them you want to get it on with Fight Now TV. MMA Inside the Cage, brought to you by Advanced Sports Labs. Well, another show bites the dust. Big thanks to all of our guests tonight, Ken Shamrock, Al Simmons, and Scott Price. Casey, close us out with your curtain call. Well, not enough can be said about our special guest tonight, Ken Shamrock. That is a man who truly paved the way for mixed martial arts, starting out years before the, even the UFC's inception back in Pancrase. He really has done a lot cross-promoting and bringing his character to a sport that we all know and love. So much thanks to Mr. Ken Shamrock. No doubt about it. Find us on Facebook and like us. Follow us on Twitter at MMAITC. And for any questions or sponsorships, email us at MMAInsideTheCage at gmail.com. I'm Cyrus Spies. I'm Casey Oxendine. And we'll see you next week, Inside the Cage. <laughs>